so this is the project that we're doing currently we want to end up with this model and this is where we are so far so today we want to do the parapet walls parapet walls so um let me open this in, in the section first and this wall i want to shorten it <laughs> Uh, so I'm clicking it via south elevation then I'm going uh, I'm going to click it and shorten it or you can just click and you press ctrl T and you shorten sorry you shorten it from that side but there is another trick here if I click this node at the middle I can uh, you get this option and you click the stretch height option so this way you can shorten it also to here uh -huh. that T, that T, that T so why are we doing it? you will see okay so let's go back and we are going to ground first floor now but I want to be able to see these things here on the ground floor on my first floor so that I can do what I want to do from there easily so I click on show reference or stress on the ground floor I'm clicking on show a stress reference so if I go to first floor I'm going to see the what you have on the ground floor you'll be able to see it on the first floor now I can design let me come up with a new text options elements surfaces and the new texture should be let me just copy the other one so I'm coming up with a new texture and I want it to be do you have stone ground stone ground gray let's just go with it as it is so i double click on the wall tool and i want to have a new wall and my height of the wall i want it to be 775 so what do we minus to get 775 we minus from 3000 that is this 22 25 or what we minus yeah then here I can do let me do mm, what am I thinking what are you thinking oh we see what you're thinking so let me close this let me just switch this one on and see so stone granite gray okay so if we come here we want to use the center 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 and we're going to draw all the way here to this so it actually shows you where the center is which makes it very easy if you, sh you click on the option to show trace reference so there is a way that I want it here and I think I'll come to do it later on. What can I do it now? No, it, it, it is giving me a hard time. So let me use it here. Then I'm going to drag it later here. Here. Then here we want the wall to come all the way. So this way, if it comes this way, it becomes easier to do the roofing for this type of roof. You have it coming this way here so you close it uh, then what I wanted here is I click on it and control D then we can do adjustment to here and now we can close it like this way and also this way okay so this is what we have, Sufi. 
Soufflé, 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 soufflé. So we have some contradictions, contradictions when it comes to corners. So we click on it and we're going to change this one. Also, we will set it to be stone gray. We hope it will be able to solve for us some contradiction, but not all. Why? Oh, I see Ctrl Z. Deselect uh, and suspension of groups. You want to select everything, then Ctrl T, and you now want to switch this one on. Okay, so that we have it that way. This way, that way, that way. So once we do have it that way. So we now want to make here we want to complete this one here too. Okay. So how do I do it? How do I do it? Nezafanya So we are going to the ground floor. We choose a wall tool so it's going to choose the other wall we have but I want this type of wall so let me just use this one as of now as of now as of now so control shift plus D I bring it here 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 yeah then I bring it I can bring it somewhere like here then I can click anywhere at the center and create a node you make sure you have the option to create a node so then let me just place it anywhere like that point or instead of doing this you can just click on the wall tool and and let's do even a wall from let's do outside okay so that we have this we have here and we have here mm, I'm doing it wrong I was supposed to begin from here I think so I think it's supposed to be from here 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 is it here or here let me end it here okay then I can click on it since it is it is a group if any even if I go to here I'm going to see it so I press ctrl shift plus D and move it up to here and we can try to see what the problem does so we have some issues so this one and we want it to be like how the other one was so we are switching this one off and we can do some adjustments on the height I think it's minus something pretty small zero yeah the only conflict it has is here you have some little conflict with this one but if you are having them as the same color you won't have issues when you take it for visualization but for now to fix it i click on i suspend groups then i'm clicking on this and we are going to shorten it so we click on stretch length and we want to bring it to where this node is where this line is so that we don't have any conflict in terms of textures we want to have seamless textures when we do render so here again we bring it to here that is if yours has a conflict too then here we can now close with uh, something like a slab but for now let's continue first so we now want to come and do the same for for this veranda veranda so all these walls I'm going to shorten them to 
2200 so we minus 800 not 800 to get 2200 what do you minus is it 800 800 man he got it the first time is that 800 or uh, my man is it 800 for sure for sure for sure for sure i don't know put this on a killie for sure so that's what we have that's what we have man am i right or am i wrong let's continue the design will guide us <laughs> So let me do very small adjustments to this height. Uh, let's do let's do minus seven twenty-five. Uh -huh. and then from there we're going to draw. Let's draw from here. We go to this wall tool and we can pick it from here send again ah so you choose center or you can choose the outside if you want actually won't have any issue well let's go with the center Where's the center? Where's the center? Where's the center? So, like, as of now, I'm having issues with finding the center. So, let me go with outside. Outside, outside. And here. And here. So, for this, we want the height to be or end suspension of groups we want the height to be let's do minus 50 so that's 725 so 75 and we want to make this stone gray stone gray stone gray stone gray stone gray okay now we can go to self elevation and we do control d I'm going to lower it now to here. Okay. So we have that that we do have for sure. I'm not sure if it needs more adjustments or not, but we shall figure them out in the future. Now we come to this part. So this part I want it to be a little higher than this, but somehow shorter than here just for decoration and stuff so we're going to reduce the height of this and the height of this control t i select both of them then control t i want them to be to be 22.75 which was minus 725 22.75 and i want this wall i want it to be this to be this height up to this point so that means i'll have to go and introduce a node here here at this point i introduce a node i should have looked at this where the center is center center here's the center we click on we click on the center let's click and move it to the center a node so if you have a node it means we have broken that into two walls this wall is different from the other one so i can click on it and also do minus 725 you get it 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 this one at this middle you can leave it as it is now we go to fast flow and we draw our parapet wall i can just still use this option to draw from the side so here i can draw from here outside 
to here then i will bring it to ah fuck i want it to be one wall continuous so that it is easy for me to do more settings for it instead of going to group it again here okay now if you go to this you click on it ctrl t and i want this to be stone gray as well as well as well as well as well then we can go to the f to the plan and you want to you want to make sure that our elevation covers the hallway so i'm just increasing the elevation so that it covers the hallway and it gives me a better view so i click on it again ctrl t and i want it to be and like the others i want it to be 900 so that means you minus 3000 3000 minus to get 900 it means you minus 2100 okay then we just drag it downwards so that it touches this evo 2 evo 2 so up to that point we are done with parapet walls when we come to the next one uh next one i think we should do what can we do now what can we do so next one let's come and do the decorations on top here and another one let me show you from the project file in the next one let's do this this one this and this this one this and this and yeah for all the parts then after that we shall do we shall do the roof together with a um, concrete gutter and we shall be done maybe what will remain will be the documentation oh then we have these decorations also here and here but we shall just do them as we go on let's enter this one here as for now